What's up, everyone? Welcome back to That Fat Session. Today's episode, I have a few things to talk about, a little bit of trees to smoke, and a piece of glass to show off that hasn't been featured yet. You could probably see right here, it's just massive. I'm pretty sure it's a 24-incher, but you, the entire thing isn't even actually in the shot. I have to, there we go, I have to pull it back, and right there you can finally see the top. <laughs> but, and so this tube right here, it's a pretty unique piece in my collection for a few reasons. Basically, <laughs> one of the very first really noticeable reasons is that it actually just has a rubber grommet. It is not glass on glass, it's an old school piece. And there's no, I'm not going to be able to get a close-up just because of how my setup is. Or actually, you know what, let me just try. There we go. You can see the label right there. It's been damaged by rubbing alcohol when I was cleaning the piece. But that label said Urban Myth 2006. So, and there's a bit of a story behind all that. And it starts with Jason Harris. Most collectors know exactly who he is, but he's the founder of JBD or Jerome Baker Designs. As huh, actual collectors know, Jerome Baker is not a person. Jerome Baker is just a random name that Jason Harris came up with to represent his company. And back in the day, in a, I think it was 2001, basically there was a big sting in the U.S. on a bunch of pipe makers. It was a real big deal. Tommy Chong got busted. Most stoners know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> But Jason Harris was one of those people who got busted and basically like he has rebranded before. His original brand was actually called Urban Myth. So when I got this piece, I called a smoke shop and asked if they had any old school Jerome Baker design pieces in stock. And they told they said no, but we have an urban myth. So I ran in there and grabbed it. And yeah, this is a 2006. So it's nine years old right now. But, and that's the thing, is I know a bit about the glass industry, the way shops work. You know, I'm a collector and that I still didn't do enough research, you guys. <laughs> Jason Harris, in two thousand, like I said, in 2001, he got busted and he had to stop blowing pieces. Whoever picked up the urban myth tag was not Jason Harris. This piece was not by him and that's what I told them I was looking for. But so anyways, I think it's still kind of cool. You know, it's got a little bit of a story. But in the thing about Jerome Baker designs, I'm probably going to make an entire episode where I literally talk just about JBD. They are that prominent in the industry. But man, I really have some issues with JBD, so I'm not going to go into that right now. I might just start ranting. <laughs> For now, I just wanted to show off this pretty unique piece. It, like, the color work, the fuming, basically all of it screams old school Jason Harris. Whoever picked up the Urban Myth tag knew exactly what they were doing. They were trying to make it look like it was still him making these pieces because that's absolutely what it looks like. But yeah, he had to stop blowing glass bombs and selling them in 2001. Dude, a court order. He was on three years of probation, so to this day, I'm pretty sure he can't actually manufacture 
glass bongs. So she teaches webinars. <laughs> but so yeah, talked about the piece, showed off the piece. Now I want to show off the medicine I have right now. And I hate whenever this happens, but I am really bad about keeping labels <laughs> on the strains. I basically just like to get a get a bunch of varieties and, you know, just load it, go with the flow, you know what I mean? Make sure I have different strains, but I don't necessarily care which is which when I'm in the middle of a super fat sesh. But this stuff looks really, really good. Smells really, really good. Tastes really, really good. So, yeah. Without a doubt, some quality medicine. Didn't really want this to be an incredibly long video. <laughs> uh, two times in a row now, I set my lighter within reach of me, and by the time I went to record, it was gone. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but... So this is the, the bowl that came with it. Basically, like, it's the stock bowl. It was designed around the piece. It itself does have rubber as well, because <laughs> it's nice and old school. But, so, and I guess I'll just try to get a nice close-up of, like, the bubble while I'm hitting it. Because this thing cannot fit in the whole shot unless I step way back. I just, yeah, <laughs> that's most of the piece right there. The label's right here, and that's about three-fourths of the way up, so. <laughs> Again, screw using grinders or any of that. I shoved the whole nug in there. I'm using quality medicinal, and there's no reason not to. But this thing takes basically more lung power than I have. I'm not even going to lie. This thing is hard to hit. You can see I filled it with tons of water. That'll help me draw it through a little. But I might have to fill it, exhale, then inhale again. I don't know. But all right. You might be able to see dangling. <laughs> Still rocking the glass hull beehive pendant. I love it so much. It looks so amazing. All right. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah. Didn't even need to exhale in between that. <coughs> but this <coughs> this piece was cleaned recently. <coughs> I don't know if it showed up as well as I was seeing it. That smoke. <coughs> was so thick and yellow inside of the piece. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm surprised I'm not just sitting here dying. <sighs> but so, yeah. There's still plenty in there. I got a torch. I know I can take nice big hits off it, so... I'm just gonna go for this, try to toast the rest of it, whether the hit kills me or not, I'm going to dry my hardest, and then probably end the video shortly after I basically said what I had to say, showed what I needed to show, so. Get just a little bit of breathing. Alright, cheers.
<laughs> so that one took a li little more than one, but as you can see, that nug is toasted, my friends. So, all right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this, you guys. My videos are getting decent views right now. I mean, I have about 30 subscribers. And basically, it takes about a day to get 30 views to a video. So I think that's just awesome. I'm having so much fun. Definitely going to keep doing it. So just wait till my next video and stay high. <coughs>